So after my time lapse video, link up here, I've got some message asking how good is this Swift SW380T microscope. And as there is not that much on YouTube, I've decided to show how this microscope can perform. It's a relatively cheap compound microscope, quite heavy actually. You have the standard knobs for focusing and stage movement, and you have four objectives, 4, 10, 40 and 100 times. You have a binocular, 10 times and 25 times, and this is a trinocular version. So you have a tube for a camera. In my case, I have attached a Raspberry Pi HQ camera, so it's 12 megapixel, and everything is attached to a Raspberry Pi for pictures and video. But then let's see the different objectives. This is a four times. The ruler is one millimeter, so it means that the spacing between the taller lines are 100 microns and the spacing between the smaller lines are 10 microns. Then the 10 times, same rulers. Here you start noticing some chromatic aberration. So if I zoom digitally, you can see some purple fade. That's chromatic aberration. Then we have the 14 times. You can clearly see the 10 micron spacing. And last, we have the 100 times oil objective. This is, in my opinion, quite useless. You see a lot of distortion. The field of depth is very small. And using oil every time is quite annoying. If this is your first microscope, you may have overlooked the condenser. So that's the illumination part. Let's see. You can raise or lower the condenser. You can control the light. And most importantly, you can open or close the aperture diaphragm of the condenser. And this makes a huge difference. There is also a slot where you put the filters and I have a 3D printed some dark field filters. I will put the link in the description where you can download and 3D print it yourself. But let's see why the aperture of the condenser is so important. This is a four times with aperture open. You cannot see anything. Very fade shade. Let's close the aperture and voila. Now you can see way more detailed stuff. Here, there is a rotifer here. You practically cannot see if the aperture is open, but if I close, now you can see way more detail the rotifer and you can see it pretty nicely. This is only a uh, four times objective. Let's take a look with the 10 times. And you can see how detailed it is. But if I open the aperture, then you completely lose it. So when you get your first microscope, check how to use the diaphragm for getting a better picture. And this is also for showing you how the dark field works. This is with aperture closed. And now I'm going to shift to dark field. With the dark field, the background becomes black and the rest becomes colored. This is how the dark field looks like. But enough talking, let's pick up some moss and check what you can do with this microscope. Pick up some moss, put it on the microscope slide and let's check it. If you know any of the microorganisms that you will see now, please let me know in the comments, because some of them I have no idea what they are.
And another thing that you can do is actually to change the objective. If you don't like the hundred oil, like I don't. So I swap this one for a 20 times or a 60 times, depending on what I need to visualize at the moment. You can buy those on AliExpress for 20 or $30. You must check that they are plan and they are 160. Those are the only things you need to check. For changing the objective, you just need to unscrew the old one and screw the new one in. Now, this is a standard 10 times and the standard 40 times. So the 20, it sits right in between them. It's something quite useful. So this is with four times. This is now with 10 times. And you can see now that with the 20 times, I have a little bit more magnification than the 10 times, but less than 40. Same thing for the 60. So this is the 40 times and the useless 100 times oil. But if you are in the market for something between, then you can buy a 60 times, which is right in between the 40 and the 100. And you don't need oil for this one, so it's just an air objective. So at the end, is this a good microscope? I'd say yes for the price. The Android oil is almost useless, um, but it must be there for marketing reason. So I suggest it to change for a 20 or 60, depending on what are your needs. And naturally, the other important thing is that you 3D print a dark field filter. Dark field is really nice to get some picture with the dark background. Let me know what you think about this microscope and see you next time.